back to my channel so today we're going to do another little squeegee pull and i saw this one on instagram and i'll put it up here on screen or here or link it down below but i saw these cute cats and you know i really wanted to give it a try i've done some other previous uh, squeegee art and you really seem to like it i'll link it up in the eye right there and down below in the comments as well so yeah we're going to need some paper our squeegee and i also got this little tool uh, i think it's easier to clean than this one uh, but i don't know it's metal so i'm not sure if it's going to work the same but we can give it a go and then i've got some paints i didn't put them in squeezy bottles but i might end up doing that uh, oh, and some tape we need some tape so let's create our background and i think i'm going to use this blue so what i think this background will do is make sure that the other paint that's going on top uh, will not really stain the paper that much on the spot you're placing the, the paint because then you get these harsh lines so let's try and pull this all the way down it's at this moment that she knew she up so let's try one on a cheap piece of paper and see how it works and i think i'm going to not do the background i'm going to try the same one they did i'm going to use my paints i used for my previous one the oh, i'm baking a big mess here okay let's see what we can do with this one I'm just going to try this one again. It's a little better, it's not perfect, but it's okay. And then put some pink. Put one here. Let's use the squeegee for this one to see what the difference is. then i'm going to remove the tape and i think i'm going to actually let this dry a little bit before i put new tape on this side so i'll be back in a minute so i think it's dry enough to put the tape back on i'm just going to use the same piece of tape i'm not going to push it down too hard let's see how it does with a little bit darker colors see if that works better let's do this one here Pull this down. I don't know why I'm having so such a hard time today. Maybe it is because of the temperature in my, my work area because it's blowing hot here. It's fine. Let's just go for black. I do think the contrast is better, but it's still not staining the paper as much as it did before. Maybe my paints are getting too old and I need to try some new paint. Kind of looks like okay-ish, but I think I'm going to try and see if I have some bottles that I can put some dark brown, maybe a little bit darker orange in. But let's see if I can make some different colors and put it on the nicer paper and see what that does. So I tried it on some canvas paper. This is how it came out. It's not perfect, but I do really like it a lot better than on the regular paper. So I'm just going to give it one more try and let's see if it works so i want to try and use some blue first so let's just start with one here and i think i'm just going to add a background later then i can clean up some of my mess as well because it's not as exact as normal let's just try and pull this one let's do some purple next to it Okay, that's cute. Now I want to add one here and I think I'm just going to use black because the blue is quite dark. So I was thinking of doing the green, the darker green here. Not sure if it's going to look nice, but yeah, let's just go with green. 
actually not too bad. But I would like a little bit more contrast, just so let's give it a try. Okay, so let's try it again. I would recommend just using the squeezy bottles, but I'm too lazy to get more. So much better. So I think I'm going to let this dry and then we can add the faces to it. Let's just add a crazy background. I think that will do. Let's let it dry. So we're going to have to do some cleanup, but it's not too bad. kind of cute. So I'm gonna let this dry and we'll add the faces. So let's paint on the eyes. I'm just going to use the Amsterdam Titanium White. I was going to use um, this pen but it dries really shiny and uh, maybe for another project it works fine but for this one I don't like it and I don't have any other paint markers so paint it is. I'm going to flip it and let's just start with this one. Think about here. So I think about this wide. A Posca pen will be a lot easier and quicker. Okay, let's put some on the other ones. Just like that. And let's add some other white markings and let it dry so we can add the black accents. So here they are, side by side. These were the best two I made. So I used this canvas paper. It's not that expensive. And it's just these thin sheets you can cut in the right size. So I really enjoyed working on these. Would I say these are the best pieces I made? No, but I really enjoyed the process. Yeah, making them have the funny faces and adding some markings here and there. I think it's quite cute. But let me know if you're going to do this and if so, just leave a comment down below underneath the video or just uh, send me a DM on Instagram. But for now, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye everyone!